Also tonight, we are learning a lot more about the man charged with sending package pipe bombs to Democratic prominent Democratic political figures as well as CNN. 56 year old Caesar Sayok is being held at a Miami detention center tonight. The amateur bodybuilder has an extensive criminal record, including making a bomb threat. He was known for his politically charged van. The FBI director talked today about what led them to Sayok. They uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED that had been sent to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. We have confirmed this fingerprint is that of Cesar Sayoc. There is also a possible DNA connection between samples collected from pieces of two different IEDs mailed in separate envelopes and a sample previously collected from Sayoc in connection with an earlier arrest down in Florida. More suspicious devices were found today. One addressed to the Camden office of New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, which was intercepted in Florida. The others targeted California Senator Kamala Harris, former director of national intelligence James Clapper, and a Democratic donor. President Trump talked about Sayoc's arrest tonight. In recent days, we've had a broader conversation about the tone and civility of our national dialogue. Everyone will benefit if we can end the politics of personal destruction. Amen. We must unify as a nation in peace, love, and in harmony. Sayak is currently charged with five counts and faces 48 years in prison if convicted. He will be in federal court on Monday. And federal investigators want to talk to anyone who came in contact with Sayak. And tonight I spoke with a South Florida art gallery owner who met Sayak. And we are also hearing from his boss at a gentleman's club. At an auto zone in Plantation, Florida, FBI agents took Cesar Sayuk into custody. DNA found on at least one of the suspicious packages sent to more than a dozen prominent, largely Democratic officials this week led investigators to the 56-year-old man. At the arrest scene, authorities towed away Sayuk's van that is covered in stickers and decals which showed his support for President Trump and contempt for his critics and the media. That was the same van that pulled up to a Hispanic heritage event in West Palm Beach on October 11th. He promised me that this was not going to be, you know, one of these heated kind of loud, because he said it had stickers all over it. Rolando Chang Barrero is the owner of the box gallery where the event was held. It was the first and only time he encountered Sayuk, and on that evening he posed for photos with him. We had a number of different uh, uh, political figures that were they that were supposed to show up but because of hurricane michael many couldn't make it over skype barrero told me sayuk arrived at the event as it was ending and though only a few people remained he said he was there to meet a friend he was very nice very gracious but not not at all you know he looked a little disheveled big guy Sayuk does have a storied criminal history that includes theft, drug possession, and a 2002 threat to bomb a Florida power company. As for work, for the past two months, he has served as a DJ and doorman at a West Palm Beach gentleman's club. Never spoke politics, never. The manager there said he was working the night before he was arrested. In a preliminary meeting with investigators, Sayuk reportedly said he never meant to hurt anyone.